Hello, kindergarten friends. Happy Friday. It is our last day of language arts for the week. All week we've been talking about the question, how can we describe special places? So we talked about places in our neighborhood that can be special. We talked about going to the art store that is special, which is Miss Beery's favorite store. I love going to the art stores. Okay, so today we're going to finish that up. We are going to read one more time Rick at Bat. We will use our highlighter to find some different things in that story. And we're going to finish up the last two pages of our unit, this, or our unit pages this week, which are 174 and then 192. Okay, so I'm going to get my highlighter today to point to the words as we read. And then I will let you know what you need to highlight when we get to there. Okay, so our story is the title Rick at Bat. And we're going to start reading it, and then we will go back and we will highlight some parts. So we're going to read the whole thing through. I'm going to read the sentence, and I want you to read the sentence. Then we will go back through and highlight. Okay? Rick at bat. The mitt is for me. Okay, turn your page. Okay, ready? Rick is at bat. He can rip it. Can I nap it with my mitt? Rick ran, I sat. Okay, so this time we're gonna be looking for R and B words, okay? And we are going to be um, underlining the words that begin with R and B. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to underline and then we're also going to circle some words. So if there is an R, we're going to underline it. And if there is a B, we are going to circle it. Okay, any B words circling, any R words underlining. Okay, we're gonna read it again, and then we're gonna look for those words. Rick at bat. So do we have any R words? We do, Rick. Go ahead and underline it. Do we have any B words? We do, bat. So we're going to circle the word bat. Okay, next. The mitt is for me. Do we have any R words or any B words? No, okay, turn your page. Okay, now that we're on the next page, we're looking for R words and B words. Okay, Rick is at bat. Is there any R words? There is. So remember, we're underlining the R word. Is there any B words? There is. So I know it shows it's underlined, but we're gonna actually circle it. Next line, he, he can rip it. Any R words? Yes, rip. Go ahead and underline it. Any B words? No. Next line. Can I nab it with my mitt? Is there any R words? No. Is there any B words? No. Okay, last page. Rick ran, I sat. Is there any R words? There are, there's actually two. Rick ran. Okay, is there any B words? No. Okay, we're all done with our story. You can go back and read it one more time if you'd like to for practice. And then I want you to turn to page 174 so we can do that page together. Okay, boys and girls, you need to be on page 174 first and we are going to sign out these words and write them down. Okay, what does R say? Ra. What does A say? A. What does N say? N. Er, A, N. Ran. Wanna trace it? R, A, N, and write it. R A N ran, R A N ran. So the kids ran together. Okay, next is R A T. What does R say? R. What does A say? A. What does T say? T. R A T. Rat. Go and trace the R. R A T. Rat. R A T. Rat. R A T. Rat. Okay, last one on this page. What does R say? R. What does I say? I. What does P say? R. It. Rip. And then you can see there is a rip in the picture. I want you to trace it. R. I. P. Rip. R. I. P. Rip. R. I. P. Rip. Okay, next thing I want you to take a crayon and trace over each of the words. Take your time. Make sure your letters look nice. R A N ran, R A N ran, R A N ran, R A T rat, R 
a t rat r a t rat r i p rip r i p rip r i p rip okay remember you don't need to go as fast as miss barry and you can even take one more color crayon maybe a red maybe a blue and trace those words one more time for more practice okay last page it's actually at the end of the story it is on page 192 and we're going to be looking at some of these pictures okay so we're going to look at the picture and you're going to tell me what word describes the picture are these brushes or markers they're markers so we need to circle the word markers next are these brushes or pencils they're brushes so we need to circle brushes Next, are these tools or brushes? Now, I do see some brush brushes, but those are all different kinds of tools we can use, right? Circle tools. And the last one, are these markers or pencils? They are pencils. Okay, now that we covered our tools from our story from when we read Tuesday and Wednesday, we are all done today for language arts, and I will see you next week for some more language arts. Bye, friends.